Okay, wish me luck. This could go terribly wrong. Okay. That wasn't so bad. What have we got? Anything? You see? Ah, perfect. Okay, so welcome to episode 10 of my Bedrock Survival series. As you can see, I have some netherite armor now, and I am looking for some more ancient debris so we can get that netherite helmet as well. And I wanted to make episode 10 a special one and do something, you know, good for it. So the reason we're doing this and getting netherite is not just to look cool, but we're gonna take on the ender dragon. And obviously netherite, is really useful for that because it gives you knockback resistance which will be very helpful when once we take on the dragon so let's get this ancient debris perfect so what we're doing if I can find my way out yeah um, so we're using beds to mine in the nether because it's quicker than um, just mining it, strip mining it or something. And what you do is you literally just place the bed down. You see I've got quite a few here. Place the bed down and then you go to sleep. And boom. You have quite a bit of lava there. Okay. Nothing that side. We'll just uh, place another one here and go to sleep. Excellent. So we've also got fire resistant potions on because obviously this is dangerous. Um, but yeah, it's a quick way of getting nether ancient debris. Although it is a bit expensive um, with the beds. But that is absolutely fine as it is worth every bit of wool. Okay, so from 17 beds, managed to get 12 ancient debris, which is great. That will make three netherite ingots, which we will use on the helmet and maybe the sword and a pick. Um, but need to head back to the base. Um, we'll just put the ancient debris and some of these gold ores in there, like so. But whilst they're smelting up, I just want to show you a few things I've been up to. Um, so I've just been picking at various bits across the base. You know, I've finished this room, added a little roof and the armor stand. And then added some walls and stuff down the stairs. And down here, uh, I've started to make a wool farm. Um, but realized that... Oops that uh, essentially I don't have enough iron to finish it so that is currently just getting us a bit of black wool and eventually we'll have the rest of the colours along here if they fit some will have to go downstairs I think um, I'm gonna get rid of the, the automatic chicken cooker just because it's placed really badly but uh, I'm oh can say I'm just waiting for this to fill up but it looks like it has or is pretty close and then down here I've extended the pumpkin and melon farm slightly just doubled the size I've got a uh, a pig farm I don't know what you call it yeah pig farm I suppose um, two, you breed the two pigs at the top and a piglet will drop down to blow and you kill it is based on a, a farm by JC Plays. Um, what I've taken out is the the killing mechanism. Uh, so in his version, you have lava that then cooks it, but we actually need 
port, raw pork chops for trading with the villagers. I've also added a little kelp farm here. Um, it took me ages to to find something that worked. Uh, I found a lot of farms on YouTube don't actually work for various reasons. Um, but this one seems to... So just to explain it, it's very similar to what we've done with the, the sugar and um, the bamboo in terms of the fact the pistons just cut it in half. But what I was finding was the kelp was staying at the bottom because every time those pistons moved, it would remove the source block in the middle. So what I've done is just added a row of water in front that constantly makes sure that middle row stays as a source block and everything floats to the top and then flows into these hoppers. And then I've just literally added um, a little nether wart farm here. Um, really simple. You just step on here and they just flow nicely. Okay, <laughs> may have to change that. Um, yeah, and then you just step back on it just to bring the water back. Oh yeah, and there's something really weird. The the bubbles stay on this one for some reason. You can see I'm splashing about. Um, so I need to look at that. But yeah, we need some nether wart. I only brought a few back from our trip to the fortress. And we need to make some potions. Hopefully our things have smelted down. And we will add them to our tools and such. And then perhaps we should go find the stronghold. There we are. So now in full netherite, which is great. Uh, our sword could be better. Um, but yeah, whatever. Let's, let's see if we can find that stronghold. So if you've not done this before, essentially you need eyes of ender, which are made from ender pearls and blaze powder. And to find the direction of a stronghold, you literally just throw them up and you start to go in the direction that they head in. Now these things do break from time to time, so it's best to kind of space them out. So we will take the boat and go a little distance and just keep, um, keep following these until we find the stronghold. Ooh, we have come across another village, which is cool. Have to take note of this, but maybe we'll come back at some point. Probably steal the villagers for another project. No regret ever having existed. Aha, uh -huh. I was just about to say that strongholds are really common around villages so it was pointing back in the direction we've just come so it looks like it is probably underneath this bell yeah there we are so if we start digging down here I think that should be good we should eventually hit the stronghold zombies which hopefully means we're getting close yet yeah, there we are perfect here they come and let's have a look so that just looks like a normal cave we'll ignore that for now let's head down here well this is good We'll definitely come back to steal all of these, but what I'm looking for is the chests. Ooh, an efficiency four book, very nice. And depth strider three, it's always welcome. I do actually need the string, so this is good. So we are now looking for the portal, which will take us to the Ender Dragon. Just leaving torches around, just so we know where we've been. 
definitely take you. And I'll take you as well. So I haven't found what we're looking for as of yet. But strongholds can be quite large. Another dead end. This is a big stronghold. Been looking for quite some time. Still not found anything yet. It just keeps going. <laughs> That's weird. Cool. I am now officially lost, which is great. Oh! <laughs> I think I must have walked past it at least twice. But this is what we're looking for. This is the portal to the end. Okay, that is fine. So, what we need to do is get rid of this thing. Yes, I do hate the little silverfish. And um, we'll just make it a bit safer. Get rid of some of this lava. And light up the place. So, right, so we are here, but we're not going to put in the eyes of Ender just yet. We need to head back to base. And I'll just leave some bits here. So we'll leave the eyes here. What we're gonna do is probably build a portal just here, another portal, so we have quick access to it. And we like that, and hopefully we're not above lava. Okay, so my worst fears are realized. Um, this is really bad. Okay, let's go back and let's get some blocks. Could get some more obsidian there, that's weird. Okay, so we'll head back in. I've got a couple of stacks of stone. We'll try and build a platform with, hopefully, without falling off. Blimey, can't find the edge. There we are. Any glass? Need to look out for them. Okay, so hopefully that's enough protection for now. Probably want to encase it a bit more just to protect from ghast attacks, but now I need to work out which way we need to go back home. So we'll head out over there. Cool. So we've reached the other side. Now just have to try and locate the base. And my favourite things are back. Every time I come back, I really need to sort out the, the nether. Okay, so I'm back at the portal. I think I've got everything that I need, or almost everything. So I've got a lot of potions. Let's just put this last one in. There we are. Terrifying sight. Um, yeah, so I've got some strength potions, some instant healing. The only thing I don't have is slow falling, because I didn't have any phantom membranes. But hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me, I suppose. Let's, uh, we should get into it. Wish me luck. So we've got a bridge across as quickly as possible. Definitely had worse 
spawns into the end than this, so it's not a bad start. Okay, we're a little low down maybe. Oop, that was close. So gotta try and avoid the Enderman as much as possible. But let's try and get up onto some of these pillars. So we need to take out the end crystals. And to do that, we're going to have to, for some of them, oops, not high enough. Yeah, for some of these, have to break the iron bars. Doesn't have to be loads, but just enough to give us a chance to shoot it with the bow. And you've got to be really careful with the end crystals because they explode and do a massive amount of damage. Um. Get this one. Here we are. It's one down. Really gotta avoid the dragon's breath. So um, we are doing this on hard. So she does hit hard. Is this even one got a cage? Oh, I don't know. I've got to keep on the move. Let's go to that one over there. Make sure we eat something all the time. Come on, how high is it? Come on. Why am I not going up? Oh, what are the odds? So again, just going to be careful mining these out. Do not want to hit the end crystal. to bail. Try and get as many of these back as possible. Okay, another one gone. Doing okay. Got to avoid these endermen as well. Let's just start taking out some of these crystals. Only I was better with a bow. Oh, she is loud. She is angry. Oh, here come the Enderman. It's a tricky one. Come on. It's a slow start so far, but we're not doing too badly. Just leave me alone. I think you can actually get um, extra damage on the dragon if you hit one, hit one of the end crystals that she's using to heal herself. I say she. I don't actually know. Ah, uh, just leave me alone. Is that actually a crystal? Ooh, she's charging. Another one down. Get that one. Too high. Come on. Yes. Can't tell if that's one of my arrows up there, but there's definitely one there. Accidentally hit her there. It's not what I was aiming for. She's pretty close. No more. Come on. Last one, I think, hopefully. 
Come on. Are you mad at me? Ah. Is that it? Did I get it? Didn't see the explosion. Where's she gone? Ah, here. Yeah. Okay, the end men are coming thick and fast now. Not sure I can get it at this angle, but we've got to try. And there's another one up there. I'm going to try and scaffold up, just get a better angle. Oh, it's still not a great angle. She knocks me off. Won't be good. Risky. Come on. Is the other one up there? Oh, and with the Enderman. Okay, so we're doing all right, I think, maybe. Is this, can we now get her? I think some strength. Now, I don't know if that's all of them. We just have to check to see if she can get any more. Sorry about this, we'll try and edit some of her sound out. Okay, she seems to annoy some of the endermen as well, which is good. And now survive. Almost there. Okay, probably the next next little round. But we're almost there guys. This has been fairly painless. Yeah, I've only ever defeated the dragon with another player, uh, so in co-op. And not sure we've done it on hard before, so yeah, pretty pleased with how this is going. Yes, there we are. Fantastic. Just need to... Oh, I missed all the fun bit. But look at all that XP. Uh, brilliant. Should probably be using this to fix some stuff. There we are. Fantastic. Oop. And some bits we can't get for whatever reason. What we need to do now is get the dragon egg. Oh, have I got torches with me? Yeah, brilliant. So we try and mine it. And it disappears. Teleports over here. Um, and the only way to get it is to actually mine underneath it. Oh, leave me alone. I will leave soon. So yep, yeah, we just put a torch underneath and like gravel, it will just break on the torch, which is brilliant. So there we have it, we have defeated the ender dragon and now we'll just pick up these as well. And we will pop into here. And I won't make you sit through this. We'll skip ahead. So we made it back in one piece. That actually went really well. So I'm really pleased. So to finish up, 
uh, as I quite often do, we're going to go have a look for a bit of treasure. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I think uh, for our next one, we're going to go get an elytra because, yeah, it would be great to have one. It would make this a lot easier. So whilst I go looking and digging for treasure, I thought it was a good opportunity to say thank you to everyone who's commented since the last video. So a shout out to EY Giraffis, Poof Plays, What656, C4 Sporty, and Learning with Sergeant Skittles, who helped me with uh, some of my questions. Thank you so much to everyone who's commented. Don't forget, if you want some free promotion for your channel or just want to shout out at the end of the next episode, please do leave a comment below. Aha! Here we are. Let's see what we've got. Potion of water breathing, which will be useful. Bottle enchanting. Potion of regeneration. And another heart of the sea. Not too bad at all. So we'll take this. And we'll head back. But thank you so much for watching. It's been amazing all the support I've received. And I really, really appreciate it. It was amazing to get to 10 episodes as well. I hope you've been enjoying the series. But thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!